Hey YouTube, Frankie was here here. Update, I have over 2600 hours in Kenji now, and spoiler, intros are boring, so let's get straight into the details. The location today will be Haller's Maze. The reason? Crabs. Their nests contain 5 to 30 pups, which, when hit, give you the experience of striking a unit with 35 defense, as when hitting animals in Kenji, you don't gain offensive combat XP based off their current stats, but based off whatever they would be as an adult. Due to their small size, as well as low stats due to their age, this can make for a ton of very fast and safe experience. I suggest having 90 toughness, and that you use masterwork armor, as the less damage you take, the longer you can train without needing to stop and heal. Scout legs to boost your movement speed, and skeleton arms to increase your attack speed. Please note that although almost every robotic arm lists some sort of unarmed damage bonus, that doesn't actually work. It does nothing. Martial arts damage is based off your martial arts level, strength, as well as toughness. Without reducing our level through gear or encumbrance, you'll kill a vast majority of units in the game just trying to train on them. Therefore, the Samurai Armor's 15% reduction to damage will allow us to hit something more times before they get knocked out or killed. Of course, bring Skeleton Repair Kits and, if you have Organic Health, an Advanced First Aid Kit. For non-skeletal units, bring either a sleeping bag or materials to make a bed. You can get away with using a high-quality crab helmet to help with acid protection, or just a Samurai Helmet if you're unable to wear that. Dark Leather Shirt has no debuffs, so it's perfect for us to use. Any backpack which can stack materials will work, just remember to unequip it when training. The amount of experience you gain when striking an opponent scales based off their defense level compared to your martial arts level. Also, having a lower level of martial arts means you deal less damage. We use a Samurai Armor as well as Samurai Leg Plates to drop our martial arts by 20, and then over encumber ourselves to reduce our martial arts by a percentage. That goes all the way up to 100% encumbrance, giving us minus 80% martial arts. This will allow us to gain a ton of experience, no matter what our level. With all that covered, time to show it off. Here we are in Haller's Maze. There are a few nests already nearby us, as you can see. I have a wooden backpack here, filled with iron ore. Let's go ahead and unequip that. There's my samurai leg plates, samurai armor, skeleton repair kits, as well as skeleton arms and scout legs. And here are our stats. 13 Strength, 90 Toughness, as well as 1 Martial Arts and Dexterity are the ones you really want to keep an eye on here. Drag this down to the bottom, so that way we can keep an eye on our progress as we train. And I'll wait until 2400, uh, you know, the beginning of Day 7, to actually attack, so I can see how fast we can progress within 24 hours. At the start, we'll be limited to Bad Punch, which is a 50 power attack that can hit one target at a time. Things will begin to speed up once we get to level 5 martial arts, as at that point we'll unlock the combat technique, I know it sounds weird, but kick low. It's able to hit multiple targets instead of just one, like bad punch. We unlock our next move at level 15 martial arts, which is Palm Strike. There you go, you can see it right there in action.
If you activate Sneak while a character is playing dead, they should stay low when they go to heal themselves up. However, that's not always the case, so in moments like those where your character just refuses to play along with you, you can always just remove one of their legs. It sounds kind of cruel, but it gets the job done. And crabs are pretty darn polite. They will actually not attack you when you are crawling on the ground nearby them. So, 54 martial arts with a single nest knocked out. That's not too shabby. Just a reminder, because of the fact that we dropped our martial arts level by a ton, we're dealing mostly blunt damage, so the crabs that we knock out will actually recover over time. It will take quite a bit, but they'll survive. When moving on to the next nest, I remove my samurai leg plates, as well as put on my backpack to speed myself up just a little bit more.
Provided we don't get too unlucky and get hit in our head multiple... Okay, it's looking like that might... Yeah, that's probably going to be the case. I was going to say, we should be able to get to 76, maybe 75 with this luck right now. Just don't get hit in the head, buddy. Okay, nice. Okay, there you go. So, 75. We'll stop training at this point. Let's go ahead and drop off all the gear and show off the damage that we can deal with lifter arms. Martial arts is so flashy, dude. All in a day's work, literally. There you guys have it. If you want to see more guides like this one, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below with what type of guide you want to see in the future. And if you have a question about something related to Kenshi, or if you just want to hang out, feel free to come by twitch.tv slash Frankie was here. I stream every day, excluding Wednesdays, from around 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9-ish. It depends on how long a run takes. What I mean by a run is currently we're on a, I believe it's 22 win streak where I start a run at the beginning of the stream, and we try to finish it before the end of the stream. So, finishing, referring to killing off Isata, Tengu, Phoenix, Catlon, and defeating Bugmaster. We don't need to kill him. So, if that's something you find interesting, feel free to come on by. We are actually doing a Headless Thrall challenge run today, so wish me luck. I'll need it. Anyway, take it easy, guys. See you later. Bye. Take peace. Take peace. Take care. Peace. Bye. <laughs>